Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend and Ungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Swani Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. A big shout out to everyone that keeps on subscribing, has subscribed. Keeps on giving us stuff to do, likes our stuff, shares. Thank you very much. You guys are the best. I hope you guys are doing all right. I may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today I'm going to be reacting to the dust that led me to Islam. So without wasting time, and sorry I couldn't react to the actual video because it was too long. But I've been seeing parts of this, and I'm going to try my best to. Um, react to them so without wasting time let's get into the video uh yeah my, my doubts had to do with with uh, especially with the trinity because in christianity we believe that uh, god uh, exists as one being but in three persons uh, god the father god the son is jesus christ and the holy spirit and i always found it very hard to uh understand the concept because uh, in, in, in Christianity, uh, Jesus Christ dies on the cross, but he is God, so God dies. So I asked the minister, when I was 12 or 13, how is it possible that something that is infinite, infinity, God is, uh, is infinity or infinite, um, how, how is it possible that it dies? Because then it is ended, it's ending, so that, that's impossible. And if he is dead and he is alive at the same time that's something like a, a square circle it's that's impossible and then they said well it's a mystery so yeah <laughs> that's uh, but you, you you have to believe it but if i try to believe it i can't because it's a mystery and i i i don't found that very satisfying so that's something that uh, and there are a lot of uh, uh theologians who have very nice concepts but in the end it's it's coming back to the question is is the God of Jesus Christ, is it one or three? And in the whole Bible, there is nowhere, there's no sentence in the Bible that says God is three. It, it isn't there. Um, and and the, the parts that are referring to something that could be interpreted as three are added later. And it's even in the Christian Bible, you can see that it's almost always between, I don't know how you say it, we call it haakjes, between quotes. <laughs> now, not <laughs> yeah, that one, uh, and and uh, in Bible it says uh, the 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 sentences between those things uh, are added later. So there are, in in the Bible there is no there is no um, there's no referation to God as three, and uh, there is even a, a sentence uh, that Jesus Christ says, "Hear, O Israel, your God is one." Well, that is exactly the same as Prophet Muhammad said: "There is one God, and that's Allah." So it, it 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 wasn't logical for me. So I the 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 the, the Trinity thing was was a, an issue for me. And uh, another thing I talked about uh, earlier, short, it was about uh, whether uh, there should be a, a murder before God can forgive. And yeah, I I found that uh, not logical because in in the Bible says there's a story about uh, the prodigal son it's a story that uh, there's, a, there's a father and he has two sons and uh, it's a very rich father and it's a very successful company and uh, one of the sons goes away and he says well dad if you uh, you're so rich and uh, one day you will die so can't you give me the money I'll get when you die he says okay if <laughs> you want that here's the money and he goes away and he uh, get, does everything he shouldn't do. He uh, is partying all the time, uh, going to uh, hookers, and I don't know what he does. And he comes back, he's totally uh, wasted, and uh, he, uh, is, he, he doesn't feel like a man anymore. And he says, well, uh, what am I doing suddenly? Uh, I wish I, I, I'd never gone away. And uh, he, he regrets it very much. And after a few years, he goes back to his father, and uh, and his father sees his son coming and uh, he, he says to his assistant well bring him the best clothes that you have uh, put a silver ring on his finger and let's celebrate that my son my lost son is back 
But the other son says, well, ho, ho. <laughs> I, I was working all the time for you. I did everything that I had to do. I abide you. I abide the law. We pray together to God. And a uh, you know, weird, weird Willie there goes and does everything uh, wrong. And, and you are celebrating his return. And it's a story that Jesus tells in the Bible. And, uh, and, and then the, the, the apostles, the people around, uh, the Jesus followers ask, okay, what's, what's the point here? And, and Jesus says, well, okay, the, the father is happy that his son returned. After he did so much things wrong, he still accepts him. And there is no condition, there's not, no son or whatever who had to die first, or there's no, there's no slapping or no screaming, there's nothing. He just forgives his son. And it was for me, I thought, yeah, well, the prodigal son story that Jesus tells, it, it, it's almost 180 degrees opposite of one of the dogmas of Christianity. Because if Jesus tells uh, this story to show the rachma of God, how is it that, that the Christian church teaches that God wants to see someone gets killed first? But there was another point for me that I thought, well, the, the Islamic narrative is much more logical and it it's uh in, in a sense even more christian than the christian teaching the doubts i had when it comes to the trinity of uh god and uh, the crucifixion that the fact in christianity people believe that uh god had to sacrifice jesus christ so he could forgive the world but at the same time in the bible uh, it says that god is almighty and does what you want to do and I always thought as a child, well, if you are almighty as uh, God, why can't you just forgive? Why is there a son who had to die before you can say, okay, I forgive? So I, I thought it was illogical. Uh, I still, And I still think Christianity is a nice uh, religion, only I, I, I didn't believe the, 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 the truth with a capital, capital T. It, it wasn't there for me anymore. And uh, strangely enough, when I was writing the book, I got... Islamic answers to Christian questions, and uh, yeah, that, that that was a point for me that I thought yeah, it, it gave me a lot of rest, and uh, the my heart and my head resonated, and that's something that I uh, didn't have before. So uh, when I felt that, and I of course you believe it, yeah, that that made me in the end um, uh, deciding to uh, to become a Muslim, and that's what I did, and uh, I still am. I'm very happy. A very interesting video, my battery is low, but I guess I applaud the people that are curious in life. Be curious enough to go out there and find out the information. Just don't depend on one source of information. There's many books out there that you can look into and you find what you're looking for. And you're going to be educated beyond what someone may teach you or someone may tell you. Otherwise, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.